So guys, Emma and I are very excited. We are going to go visit our cousins that have actually never, we've never met them before. I met Michelle, the one cousin, but I haven't met her husband and her munchkins yet. So I'm pretty excited. And we're bringing our switches because we heard they were big into their switches too. You excited to meet them? I already met them. She already met them. Well, it's my first time. She was asking me questions about, you know, what kind of people they were. And she's already met them. And I haven't. Ah. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Emma's a one of a kind. So, guys, we have made it to Harrison Hot Springs, and it is beautiful out. Look at it. It is so beautiful. And, guys, look at that mountain right there. Isn't that not beautiful? Oh, my God. It is stunning. The wind is a little killer. You know, the wind is a little chilly, but you know what? It's so beautiful here, guys. So, it's funny. When we parked, the sign said to come to the front desk and register your vehicle for pay parking, right? So, we go up to the front desk, and we go... Like, okay, we'd like to register a vehicle. They're like, oh, are you staying overnight? We're like, no. And they're like, oh, well, this is only for staying overnight. There's actually metered parking back there. I'm like, well, it would have been nice if the sign said, pay parking by meter or at front desk, not pay for parking at the front desk only. Would have been nice if the sign said that. Anyways, I love this hotel. I've always had issues with this hotel and my ex worked here. But you know what? It's beautiful here, so I can't complain too much. And the thing is, I was actually very polite, and I was like, okay, well, fine, I'll pay by phone. What's the lot number? He's like, oh, I have no idea. You'd think that they would have that information inside at the front desk. You'd think that the concierge would have that. No. Why would they? What? Right there, 1677. Just trying not to come out here, because I am, I am lazy. I will admit it. I'm very lazy. But at least the front desk should know their own parking lot number. Just saying. So, guys, I just met my cousins, Alex and Andrew. I don't remember which one's which. I'm a horrible person. That's Alex. Boy! And that's Andrew. I'm Alex! I and said... I, no, apparently I'm Alex. Is he Andrew? I don't know. This is Alex! That's Alex! I never said I was a good human being. I never claimed that. You guys thought that all on your own. Okay? Well, that's Alex. That's Andrew. And this, as I said, this is my first time meeting them. I just, I've only been here for like five minutes. John, their father, walked me up and then he had to quickly run out to go say hi to Michelle. And so we were actually, I don't know. Oh wait, we... but I'm a YouTuber. You have to give me a shout out. Yes. What is your channel again? Emerald Spark 125. No spaces. Emerald Spark Horn? No, Emerald Spark 125. Emerald Spark 125. Emerald! I don't know his channel. <laughs> Emerald Spark 125. Subscribe to it. Watch it. I, I, I watched one, it was pretty good. I actually did. I do break dance tutorials. Yes. So if you want to learn how to break dance, don't watch my videos, because I do not know how to break dance. I, I can do the Cotton Eye Joe. That's it. Ah, uh, so can I. And I can do it better. <laughs> I never claimed I was from the country, and they are from, they are from Whitehorse area. I don't know. They're from up north somewhere. It's all country. Hey, you got it right. You got it right. So guys, I'm so excited. They have Warhead gummies. Two of my favorite things. I love Warheads and I love gummies. So I'm going to try this out. Hopefully it's really good. You guys ready? I'm ready. They're good. They're not sour. They're not, they're not sour like they're, um, like Warheads are, but they're, they're good. I like them. Why is it like a cat? It's like a sour key. So guys, we just got back from swimming at the pool. Oh, by the way, John's back. And so I just looked, I looked down at, uh, at these shoes on the ground. Well, not those ones, these shoes. And I'm like, hey, whose shoes are these? They're like, oh, it's Alex. Well, now look at mine. We literally have the exact same pair of shoes. Family, right? Guys, I totally forgot to mention, today is Mario Day. Happy Mario Day, guys. If you guys don't know what that means, March 10th, M-A-R, Mar, one zero. Mario! And yes, guys, I'm a nerd, okay? Shut up. And guys, I found the signature bear. <gasps> this bear is awesome. I love him. So guys, we are currently in Harrison, and look, I ran into my fellow employee, uh, Nick. Nick, yes. Yes, Nick. Sorry, <laughs> I have a lot of employees. And we're at Harrison Hot Springs. Uh, Harrison Hot Springs. Day. And it's just awesome. I love running into coworkers. Definitely. And I'll let you do your thing, and I'll keep on visiting, and I'll see you at work. Awesome, thanks again, yeah. brother. So we are eating lunch at the Green Star, and this place looks awesome. I'm so excited to eat here. Yeah. Are you having dessert for lunch? Yeah, and I'm having dessert for dessert. I'm actually 
actually. And what I'm kind of milkshake is that? Cotton candy. Cotton candy, I'm cotton candy milkshake. Dinner. And what is this again? Dessert cream cheese cinnamon waffle. And that's her lunch. Right. And she claims she's having ice cream after this for, for dessert. dessert. And fudge. Because I got tater tots and grilled ham and cheese. Oh, I'm yeah. Tater tot. Thank you. They're really hot. Yes, I have. You definitely look like Princess Leia now. I love your muffs. They're so fuzzy. Like got a hole in it? Comfy? Yeah. And hey, look, it's in 3D too. You ready? Ooh. Ooh. So guys, this is awesome. But you know what happened? Oh no, he's trying to avoid it. He's trying to avoid being in the shot. He's trying to avoid it. I don't, I don't He turned it, it off. I, and I was guessing, well, maybe he doesn't like to listen to music. As you see them with headphones in. Younger generation, right? Chilling with my homie, Sasquami. <laughs> I don't know. Chilling with my homie, Sasquami. What? What? Sasquatches need love too. Are you saying anything exciting? Do you like the Sasquatch? Uh -huh. You know I'm filming, right? I like ice cream over there. Ice cream. Sasquatch. Emma. Uh -huh. Where's Emma the Sasquatch? No, Sasquatches are too clean. Guys, look at that. this dog. There's a guard dog on duty in this store. Look at it. Dog. Killer vicious pupper. <gasps> oh my god, it's so cute. Reagan, you'd love this. <laughs> He's a pupper. What? It's Emma. The dog's name is Emma? And guys, the dog's name is Emma. How this awesome is that? This would be awesome for Emma, how do you feel about that? I like the dog named Emma. Yeah, big awesome. if you're doing a I can't tell the two apart. Yeah. Actually, I can. The dog's actually behaving and not being annoying. So this store that we are currently in is actually a pet store. And the funny thing is, they actually have kids' toys because, well, kids are pets. Well, to me. That's the only reason to have them, I think. What the heck? That's a doggy bikini. A dog? For a doggy bikini, yeah. This is cool. This is what I call something amazing. Are you guys brother and sister? No, we're brother. Surprisingly not. Oh, do you guys know each other? We just met like today. Oh, today. Well, Hi, they met I'm... before. I just met them today. Gotcha. Yeah, hey, look, I don't want to be in the video, but then walks in front of the camera. And guys, look at his... He's like a chameleon. I want to try. I want to try. Guys, I am styling. These are awesome. Oh, I used to have some of those. I totally want one. Now I know why my mom wants these, because these are really cool. Sasquatch parking only. Dad, you have your own spot. Hey, guys. Chuck and kitties. Why are they throwing cats? Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. An epic love story. So cute. We're skipping! We're going to go get ice cream! <laughs> We're skipping to get ice yeah, cream! I really skipping for ice cream! <laughs> and Emma's just walking because, you know, she's too cool to skip. Yeah, she's one of those cool kids. You don't know how it is. So, guys, we just got ice cream. Look at Emma's. Alright, look at. Oh, what kind did you guys get? Something with cherry and strawberry. Bubblegum burst and Bordeaux cherry. It's funny, guys. They were both going, oh, I wish I got a cup. Well, guess what? I got a cup. <laughs> and guys, look at the little spoon they gave me. It's so good. I got cookies and cream and pralines and cream. Double that cream. That's the way I like it. Ice cream. Oof. Ice cream. Now that's a ride. And they're from Saskatchewan. Why would you ever have that car from Saskatchewan? So guys, we just finished swimming for like so long. I mean, yes, we broke for dinner. But one thing I don't understand is why do swim trunks have this stupid netting? Right there, like this netting. I literally cut it every time. And then, because I didn't cut it all the way properly, you know, because I, I needed to cut it because it was just pulling everything in the wrong direction. So I cut it and then it's just kind of tailing behind. It looked so stupid. I don't understand why swim trunks have these. You need to get rid of that. And it was so funny, my one cousin, the younger one, 
was like holding my back like for like 20 minutes in the pool and I'm just running around going I got something on my back ah. and everybody was having a hoot with it he just wouldn't let go it actually my foot was dragging on the bottom of the pool and now my the bottom of my foot's all like red because of it it hurt and you guys want to know what Alex did to me oh my god this totally took me by surprise Alex took his two fingers and shoved them up my bum who does that who takes their fingers and shoves them up somebody's butt? Ow! We were like in the quiet pool and I screamed. Oh my God. It's so funny guys. So I was swimming around the pool, right? And I'm shouting, I don't want to get wet in the pool. Right, because there's always that one person who complains about splashing in the pool. And I'm like, you're already in the pool. You're already wet. Complain. I don't understand. It was just so awesome finally meeting Michelle's husband and kids. I've never actually met them before and you know what, they were amazing people. John has such a great heart and it's just so awesome when I meet other people with these great hearts because the only way to make the world a better place is just, you know, be nice. And it might have inspired Andrew, he's the younger one, to go out there and keep on vlogging because he was a vlogger. He used to vlog, but then he just kind of stopped. And then he saw my stuff and he's like, oh my God, I gotta keep on vlogging. You know, I, so I showed him certain apps to get I might have inspired him, you know, I went to his mom, I went to Michelle, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I might have inspired Andrew to go back to vlogging. Sorry. And she's like, I don't care. And she's cool too. Super cool. And one thing I actually never mentioned, guys, was the fact that my sister took her knapsack to, like, the waiting area, right? Hung it up on a hook and left her knapsack wide open with all her clothes and stuff in it. But guess what else she had in that knapsack? Just guess. Her Nintendo Switch just sitting right there. Luckily for us, nobody stole it, but... What a gamble. Like, oh my God. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys, and also subscribe. And if you guys are interested in checking out Andrew's vlog, it's Emeralds Park 125. Don't forget to check that one out.